Hey, what's going on there, everyone? Earthmaster here checking in on this Tuesday night, 8.47 p.m. on February 25th, 2020. And taking a look at the Earthquake Live 3D stream here. A little bit of activity going on in the Earthquake world out here. Right now, seismograph stations around the globe uh, looking relatively quiet, except for a station down there in Southern California. Uh, that's going to be the station down here, China Lake. And that is in Southern California, near Ridgecrest, California where the uh, aftershock activity from the July 4th and July 5th earthquakes took place. And of course that's been pretty active over the last day or so. Uh, taking a look at the Caltech website here uh, shows uh, activity on the, uh, I would say it's average, I guess. I mean, it's not really picking up too much. Uh, it's been a couple different size quakes out here in Southern California. And um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and zoom into this area. Right around the Ridgecrest area, to be exact. Uh, of course, aftershock activity is expected in this region for, like I say, months, if not years, following those large events back on July 4th and July 5th. Uh, so nothing new there. Just seen a couple uh, twos and threes over the region over the last 24 hours. And... Um, Let's see, hold on one second here. Let's switch over to this map. A little bit better view, I think, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there was a little earthquake off the coast of uh, Southern Cal, down well west of Los Angeles out here. Let's see if I can bring that up here. Let's see what that island is out here, to be exact. Santa Cruz Island? Okay, that's right. I remember hearing about that island out there. Nothing big out there. It was just a 3.1 earlier in the day. Uh, and that's going to be that little blue dot. Uh, if you guys can see that on the screen there, hopefully. Just off the coast of Santa Cruz Island to the southeast region. Striking at about 6 kilometers below the surface there. Uh, so nothing big out here to report, folks, in the earthquake world. Just some sporadic earthquake activity in some uh, uh, interesting areas just south here of the border as well. There's some little cluster of quakes in the 1 to 2 range. Uh, but uh, i tell you what, relatively quiet when it comes to any suspicious activity out there in California. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, we can go ahead and zoom in up here to the northeast and they had little series of earthquakes up there 2.9 in uh, manhattan montana it's going to be this uh, earthquake up here Let's see if i can zoom in here you can see three forks and uh bozeman down here to the southeast 2.9 is going to be this uh, little area right there that blue dot of course no stranger to earthquakes out there in the intermountain west region uh, obviously um, mountains have been formed from plate tectonics and whatnot so earthquakes are going to happen out there and they're going to happen around a super volcano whether it's magma related or um, uh, tectonic related so in this case tectonic related earthquakes out here although this 1.8 and a 0.6 do not reflect the earthquake activity that i'm picking up on the uh, Yellowstone seismograph stations here. This here is an overview of the Yellowstone National Park region and uh, you know 1.9 and a 0.6 is not going to make its mark known all across the region. It's just not going to happen. Um, it looks as though uh, there's a couple bigger quakes than that that hasn't been reported in the region there that showed up on many of the stations um, throughout the park from the northwest uh, corner of the park all the way over here to the eastern part of the park at least a couple stations are uh, set up to pick up the, that earthquake depending on of course their uh, their um, sensitivity but I think the earthquake uh, that is in question kind of happened over here towards the northwest corner of the park well defined right around the Madison River area and Heb Hebgen Late Lake region. So it'd be interesting to see what USGS uh, 
updates in that retrospect. Um, but no swarming going on, just a little bit of earthquake activity up there. I don't see any type of swarming going on at all in Yellowstone, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, taking a look at the earthquake activity worldwide here on the Earthquake 3D globe. Some earthquake activity and aftershock activity out there around Turkey and the Middle East region here and the center of the globe here. 5.0, 4.3 and a 4.2 out there uh, being picked up. Puerto Rico, the latest earthquake, a 2.7. That's in that green flag there. Uh, earthquake activity has not really died down there over the last 24 hours or so. Still kind of swarming, if you will. Um, there's the earthquake activity out there in California. A couple threes and some twos out there in the southern part of the state. Uh, let's see here. Some interesting deep earthquake activity down south of Chile and South America region. Um, I mean, we don't... I don't really question deep earthquake activity out there because it does happen. Uh, but there's just kind of like a... Kind of like a swarm of activity out there, if you will. A uh, couple, quite a few fours stacked up on each other down there in South America, and they're not super deep. Let's see if I can find the uh, deeper ones here. Uh, roughly about looks like between 100 and possibly 200 kilometers below the surface there. That cluster of quakes in South America there along the uh, subduction zone or inland, a little bit looks like. Uh, just outside of that subduction zone there uh, taking place and uh, deeper earthquake activity over here on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire as well a 5.2 in Fiji and a super deep one check out this super deep earthquake here Let's see if I can get that uh, brought up here come on where are you at okay it's updating right now um 4.4 at 538 kilometers below the surface that's pretty deep folks that's a uh, definitely a deep one out there so some activity occurring uh, out here taking shape I guess if you will we haven't really seen any major quakes out here folks in the bit in the larger magnitude range but uh, you know it, it can change right now some <clears throat> some stuff is going on out there in the deep part of the earth that uh, might be setting the stage up for those larger quakes here in the future uh, aside from that, not a whole lot going on, folks. I do have a little quick announcement here. Going to be uh, going to be uh, doing a little bit of storm chasing here next week um, throughout the South region. That's uh, Texas, uh, Louisiana, and possibly Alabama as well. Arkansas region looks as though there might be a little setup. It's still a ways away. Uh, but I went ahead and jumped the gun, and uh, I'll be out there next week. Um, you know, regardless um, if it's a few thunderstorms or a severe weather setup, um, I'll try to be streaming out here and posting videos on the YouTube channel. I will keep the Earthquake 3D stream running during that time that I'm absent from the uh, stream itself. So, yeah, I can live stream two probably three, four, five, who knows how many live streams I can run it at the same time. But uh, if something happens out there in the southeast, uh, southern states, and I'll go ahead and live stream. But uh, just give you guys a heads up, I will be out there uh, pretty soon. Uh, kind of just chasing some clouds around. I also want to check out the geological areas of Texas. It's going to be a couple days where there's no storms at all out there. And I kind of want to check out uh, certain areas of Texas for... Uh, well, Texas used to be underneath the water. It used to be ocean um, into the just south of the hill country there. And out there in Brady, Texas, kind of like central Texas region, I remember finding some uh, fossilized seashells. Well, not seashells, but it's like, to me, it looked like a snail. And uh, I can't remember what they're called, but it's perfectly circular. Uh, in a spiral and it's some type of fossilized sea creature from a long time ago when Texas used to be underneath the water in the ocean so I kind of want to go out there do some more researching on that area uh, just because I think it's pretty awesome to uh, to look back in time 
and uh, you know do some uh, researching on that so I will be out there regardless regardless if it's weather related um, you know it's it's slim slim this time of year uh, late February early March is not the best severe weather season so but uh, either way I'll be out there next week and uh, so make sure you look forward to or make sure you look forward to the uh, videos I'll be posting out there um, like I say whether it's just looking at rocks and in uh, structures of the earth in Texas or just uh, you know maybe a lightning show I'm hoping for a lightning show we'll see what happens I'm really hoping for some thunder and lightning I've been I've been seriously fiending for it. I mean, it's like an addiction, big time. Uh, especially here in California, where we hit 80 degrees today. 80 degrees today in the end of February, when this should be our wettest month on record. Oh, not on record, but it's one of our should be our wettest month, folks. I mean, it's so disappointing. We haven't had rain since like early January or middle of January. It's uh man, I tell you why it's very depressing. We're getting we're getting into that D word again, the drought, and that's not good. Anyway, folks, um, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. We will be doing some more updates over the next couple days, and then we'll hit, be heading off to Texas and uh, the South region. So, have a good night, folks, and uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Please stay safe, be prepared, watch out for that coronavirus. You know, make sure you back it up with some lime and salt, whatever you want to use. And, uh, you know, it's, I don't know. I, I don't want to open up a can of worms, you know. It's kind of a big deal, but it's also being uh, fear-mongered in a big way out there. It's affecting the stock market like crazy. So if you got a 401k, huh, you're probably looking at some hard hits right now. Uh, anyway, have a good night, folks. Stay safe out there. Uh, always be prepared. Looks like a four point, okay, I was at 4.4 here. Anyway, I'm pretty tired. I gotta go to bed here pretty soon. Nine o'clock, almost straight up right now. And uh, <sighs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Have a good night, folks. We'll talk talk to you guys a little bit later. Peace.